All right, in this demonstration, we're going to look at how you can add uh, different gadgets straight from your insert menu onto your Google site. So the first place that we're going to go is to our edit button, which is the pencil. And I'm going to click insert. And down here you have in the category gadgets, recent posts, recently updated files, recent list items, text box, HTML box, and more gadgets. <clears throat> These first three are based on the page template that you chose. If you're reading the book, Google Sites Simplified, then you know that in a previous section we talked about different page templates. You have um, a regular web page template, a file cabinet template, a list template, and an announcements template. Recent posts will put a little box on your page that um, lists your most recent announcements that you have put on um, any announcements template in your website. Recently updated files will put a little box on your page that shows any files that you have recently updated to any of your file cabinet pages. And recent list items will put a little box on your page that shows any items that have recently been added to any of your list pages. So let's look at how those look on your web pages, or on your website, excuse me. Um, I'm on my home page here and I want my viewers, the first thing that they see when they come to my web page is things that I have recently done on my site. So I'm actually going to put all three of these on my home page. Let's first add the recent posts. When I click on this, I get my Insert Recent Announcements menu, and I can choose if I have more than one page that is set up as an announcement template, they would show up here in this drop-down box, and I would choose which one I want. Right now on my site, I only have one announcements page, so I'm going to leave that like that. You can change the length of your um, what it shows in that little box um, to either short, medium, or the full post. I just want to keep it short. To a, to a short snippet um, so that my viewer can see that that is or is not something that they want to look at and then um, move accordingly. You can also choose the number of posts to display. Instead of five, I'm going to change that to three. No reason, just because. You can choose to add an introduction post to your announcements. I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to leave this um, set to the default and so I'm going to click save. And then you see that it shows up here. Again, we, can, we have those same options for wrapping text on or off. And we can choose where we want to align our um, announcements. Before I click Save, since I know I want to add those other two, let's go ahead and do those. So I just use my Enter key and, and um, Enter down a couple of spaces. I'm going to go back to my Insert menu. And this time, I'm going to insert um, a recently updated files box. I have, again, only one page on my website that I have set up as a file cabinet. And um, recent files, this recent files gadget only goes off of your um, file cabinet pages, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, again, I'm going to move this or change this to three just because, and I'm going to leave my um, display options set to the default. And then I'm going to click Save. Again, I have those same options for aligning and wrapping text on and off. I'm going to put my cursor at the end of my box and enter down a couple more times. And this time, I'm going to add my last um, gadget box, which is a recent list items. Here, um, you get a, little, a few more choices. I actually have um, two pages that were set up as list pages, my favorite iPad apps and my favorite Chrome extensions. However, I haven't put anything onto the My Favorite Chrome Extensions page yet, so that's why only My Favorite iPad Apps is displaying. I can choose the columns that I wish to display. Um, so I'm going to leave App Name, I'm going to leave Price, I'm going to take off on my iPad, um, and I'm going to take off the Ability Level and the App Store link um, so that they can see the name and the price and the type and decide if it's some, my viewers can and see if it's something that they want to look at. Um, since I add a lot of apps at once, I'm going to leave that until 5 to, to display. And then you can choose your um, sorting by options. I'm just going to leave those um, 
as default. I'm going to leave my display as default and then I'm going to click Save. And to view these, I can click Save. And here, my um, viewers on my, right on my home page have access to what I have done recently on my page. Or excuse me, on my website. They can see that um, my latest post to my blog was, Is Your Interactive Whiteboard Really Interactive? They can see that I've added three files to my lesson plans page. And they can see these three apps right here. Um, and you can see that they have the View More option, which will take them the viewer to the actual page. <clears throat> All right, while I'm on this page, you can see that I have another box here that says sub page listing. This is, let me go ahead and edit this page, get into editor mode. This was um, the part that I did not explain in the common tutorial or the common demonstration. That's your sub page listing. Since I have um, two sub pages underneath this my favorite apps iPad apps I have lesson plans and video tutorials page um, but I did not list them here in my navigation bar so I put a sub page listing um, for, since this is a demonstration website maybe somebody's not viewing the video tutorials so I want to tell them what this sub page listing is so what I can do is I can go back into my editor mode and I can insert a text box and um, I can change the title and I'm gonna say name this sub page listing and then in my text box I'm going to say the box to the left is an example of a sub page let me capitalize that gadget in oops spelled it wrong Google Sites. Let's fix this very quick. And then I click save. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put wrap on here um, as well as wrap on here and then I'm gonna move or try to I bet it won't let me Don't know what I just did there. Let's save that and look at that. Um, okay, it saved it as a chart. Um, so obviously when you add that, make sure your cursor is where you want it to go. Um, but that's how you would add a text box. The last thing that I want to show you is how to add something with an HTML code. So I'm going to go ahead and go into editor mode. And I'm going to go all the way down here to... Um, to the bottom of my page and I am going to jump over to my Smartboard website smartboardterminal.wikispaces.com and I want to put my Simple K12 Ambassador button on my practice website. This is actually a um, HTML coded item that displays like this on a website so I need to grab that code. So I'm going to edit this page as well I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit this widget and I'm just going to copy and paste that code. Back on my web, back on the practice website, I'm in edit mode, so I'm going to go to insert HTML box. That's that code that I explained in the book um, Google Sites Simplified. I'm simply going to paste that code in there and pray that it works because I honestly have not had a lot of work, uh, excuse me, a lot of luck with the HTML boxes on Google Sites. Um, we're going to click Save and uh, Preview and like I said hope that it displays like it's supposed to. Yay! There it is! Um, so you can see how um, uh, HTML code turns into a uh, actual image or widget on your site. Let's go back into edit mode one more time again let me scroll down to the bottom of my page space over some the last um, option in your gadgets uh, section is more gadgets this will actually take you to like a gadget store and you can search through either 
featured gadgets or public gadgets um, that allow you to add things to your website. Um, so you can add actually some swimming fish to your website. Let's try that one. So we're going to click um, fish. We're going to select it. Um, we can actually, this is pretty cool, we can actually change the fishies. Colors. Yellow. Do they not have purple? How do you not have purple? Okay, so we'll leave them like that. Um, you can actually preview the gadget. And like I said, I haven't had a lot of luck with these, but we're going to try it anyway. Save it. And they're not showing up. But there's the box. Um, so you may have to play around with those a little bit. Um, good luck to you. I hope you have better luck than I do. But this has been a demonstration of adding um, some more gadgets to your, web, to your Google site. Thank you.